There's substantial studies which show that wearing synthetic fiber causes immense damage to the system and could be the source of various diseases that we are suffering, unexplained uh, levels of cancer, many things. Some people say it is still not very well established, but definitely it has impact. They are saying almost there is not a single American citizen who doesn't have a certain amount of plastic in their bodies. This may be so everywhere, probably only Americans have been studied, they've been put under the microscope. They say on an average twenty-eight grams of plastic could be in an uh, American citizen's uh, body, both from food consumption and textiles that they use. Especially for children, the level of skin allergies and other things you're finding is mainly because of the type of uh, clothing they're using. And once you use synthetic clothing, it is very flammable. So to make it not so flammable, they're using other kinds of chemicals which are carcinogenic, there's no question about that. So these things need to be reversed now because as it is, it is estimated we are on an average, every human being on the planet has five times more clothing than what our grandparents had. God, that sound number even sounds low to me. That's among your clients. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but when I see people's on, closets On now, an average, yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. But by 2025, they said that's going to double. That means yeah. we'll have ten times more. So when this kind of phenomenal increase in textile consumption is on the threshold, I think it's very important we bring back natural fiber. The way we dress is destroying the world. Textile has become the third largest polluter on the planet. Right. So one important thing that needs to happen is to shift back to natural fiber as much as possible in the coming few decades. Right. If we don't do that, uh, because everybody's shooting the plastic bag which is visible, the lowly plastic bag is, yes it needs to be handled, but it is not the main thing, it's just visible and flying all over the place. But textile or polyfiber is one of the biggest polluters when it comes to plastic pollution. So, largest one actually. Mm -hmm. But it goes unaddressed because uh, it is all microfiber. It's in your body, it's in the food that we eat, it's in the water that we drink, it's everywhere. So shifting back to natural fiber as much as possible is an important thing and this is also… this… this will also handle variety of other aspects for nations which grow natural fiber and have the capacity and the talent to produce uh, yarn and then to weave it in many different ways, which is a skill that human beings developed for over thousands of years. You know, it took millennia to develop these skills, but we're just killing it just in one or two generations, simply because we got machine-made cloth and we got uh, synthetic fiber. So, overall well-being of the human being involves clothing also, so here I am.